As a photographer, I want to witness the world through my perspective. For me, I love to capture the entire story in a single frame. Being in that very moment, giving out everything you have against nature, that's the type of experience I'm after. I love the whole process of creating a meaningful piece of image. From the 4am wake up calls to spending hours on editing, it really is rewarding when you put your whole energy into something. But as I spend more time in front of my computer, I start to wonder, is this what I really want to do? I want to be in my flow state. I want to be immersed in that moment. The more I think about it, I find myself spending more days outside in the wild. This is where I feel most alive. For me, a filter can truly translate the world around you. When you're staring at a beautiful landscape, the shadows, the highlights, everything looks perfect in your eyes. I want people to look at these places like I did. In many ways, these filters feel like an extension of who I am. Photography really did light up my path. The pursuit of perfection is a never-ending journey, but when you understand the process means everything, you know this feeling will continue forever. In a sense, I love the struggle you get when you're chasing that perfect light. The lens, the filter, the density, your options are countless. But going through that thought process makes you feel so immersed. I've been shooting photos for the past five years now, and my journey up to this point has been a crazy one. My perspective really changed on what it means to be an artist. It's really about enjoying the moment, whether in your highs or lows. I'm just beyond grateful for the opportunity to witness these landscapes and tell a story through my vision. People think I'm crazy for doing all this for a photo, but I think one of the most beautiful things about photography is that you get to express your feelings, and people are inspired by it. And the more effort you put in, the more meaningful it gets. By the locations I choose, the filters I use, or the mistakes that I've made. I mean, that's the stuff I look forward to. And photography lets me continue that journey. What's going on guys, Aki here. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but the video you just saw was actually a regular work that I did for a brand called Nisi. Nisi is a brand that I worked with, uh, I think it was the first video I worked with them was two years ago um, when we shot everything in like Osaka and Fukushima with my friend Din and Usi. Yeah, that was a whole lot of fun and they reached out to me again. But this time they wanted to make um, a video that portrays the beauty of photography. So we assigned one of my friends again, Tomoya, who was in my last video. We got him to be the main character of this video and it's really weird because I'm narrating the whole thing and I, you know, yeah, it just feels a little bit weird, but the video is great. Because I was like super satisfied with the video, um, you know, it didn't, it didn't make much sense for me to not post it on my channel. Um, this isn't sponsored or anything, um, but I just wanted to share that video because basically I had like 99% of creative freedom in this project. Um, they let me do what I want. They let me do what I'm best at, you know, just getting epic footage with my best friends and spicing everything together. And that's what I'm good at and they trusted me with everything and you know, I'm just super blessed that you know, I got to work with Tomei again. And I just wanted to share that video because it portrays a really meaningful message of, um, you know, keep going no matter what, whether you're in a creative industry or, you know, you work a nine to five. I think it doesn't matter. It's all about, you know, pushing forward, whether or not you're in your highs or lows. Um, but yeah, of course, and again, it's been a while. Um, life for me has been consists of work, work, and work. <laughs> I know this is an excuse, but I just haven't had much time to make my own content. And because I'm doing all this work, you know, you know I've started my own company. Um, I'm doing a lot of other work that I'm passionate about, uh, crypto stuff, and NFT stuff, and all that. You know, just you know, getting a lot of hobbies in there. So yeah, I've had less time to actually focus on my my passion projects. And at the same time, with a lot of work going on, I think my inspiration kind of drained off in the past three months. And yeah, so I took a little bit of a break. 
I went to Okinawa for five days with my homies and um, yeah, it was great. It was great because I wasn't on my phone for five days straight. I was just like, you know, playing basketball, having out with friends, eating out, you know, just all that stuff that um, I normally do, but without work, right? Because normally I'll be doing the same shit, but um, I would have work in between, like, you know, all these activities. Um, that's the lifestyle I chose and I'm super happy with it, but I guess uh, breaks are necessary sometimes. So yeah, I just took five days off and it was great. But ever since that break I took, it really made me wonder what I want to do with this channel. Whether that's, you know, passion projects that, you know, I want to really dive in and make like short films and all that. But at the same time, I really love um, just capturing my travels with friends, um, like the one we did in Yasugatake with my friend Tomeo. You know, I really do enjoy like structuring everything and, you know, making a solid video. But at the same time, I kind of miss those spontaneous trips that you go on for you go with friends and um, you know just you just run and gun capture the whole journey. That's the type of experience that um, I'm kind of missing right now, and I feel like one of the main reasons why I started making videos was to capture that journey. It was never about traveling to capture something. It was always about having fun with friends and putting that memory together into one film and sharing it with you guys. And you know, that's where I feel most alive and um, I feel like that's where all the hectic stuff happens. Aside from all the adventure videos, um, there's a lot of like client work videos that I've made in the past that I really want to share on this channel too. Whether that's like, you know, tourism board stuff or like works with brand. Um, yeah, for the most part, every, I was, I would actually say 90% of the job I take, I've got like nearly like 90% or nearly 100% uh, creative freedom because um, they they trust what I do. Hopefully you'll enjoy watching them too because that means there's gonna be more videos out and even for those videos I put my heart into them and I'm sure you're gonna love it too. Alright thanks for watching guys. Um, this year there's gonna be a lot more adventure videos for sure and especially ones that I used to do like three years ago when we would make like spontaneous trips to somewhere else and you know go backpacking for like three days. That's the type of stuff that I look forward to doing this year and I'm gonna be filming everything this time. I'm not gonna be slacking off, I'm gonna be shooting everything. I hope you guys look forward to it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.